going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This land right here, this property right behind me is about 40 acres of land in beautiful Wyoming. Uh, you guys know I'm a Kansas native and uh, I've been actually toying with the idea of actually buying property. And that's why I'm here. I'm looking at this property right now to possibly buy. This is going to be one of three pieces of land that I'm looking at. And let me tell you, just look at this. This is, this is gorgeous. This is picturesque. There's a property just to the east of this. That's a part of this uh, plot that uh, could be bought as well. And just behind me, just behind the camera is 30,000 acres of BLM land. And I just literally saw some antelope walk behind this hill back behind me. There is wildlife all over the place. Now the question is, why am I buying land? Why am I even going to concern, concern myself with anything like this? And that is because I'm wanting to get into uh, homesteading. So I'm looking at several different properties to see what I can get away with, uh, how close it is to amenities like hospitals and stuff like that. And there's a number of different considerations that I'm going to have to take into consideration. We'll talk about that in this video where at least I'll try to touch some of the high points. Um, so what can we say about this particular property right here? Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. There's a small pond that's kind of dried up right now because it's late in the season. Uh, a very dry summer, but it, it collects from the seasonal runoff as well. There is a small cabin straight behind the uh, parked vehicle right here, which is the real estate agent that I was just talking to. And there's a fifth wheel in the uh, trees as well that may be a part of the property. Uh, so those are some really nice aspects of this. Again, with that cabin back there and 30,000 acres of BLM land, I have the ability to do whatever I want out here, basically. And that's one of the pieces that really turns me on with this property. Not to mention, some of the people that live in this area <clears throat> uh, have been able to sink a well and get water as shallow as five feet down. So water access may not necessarily be a problem because just about as the crow flies maybe five miles to the west is Pathfinder Reservoir. The biggest issue is going to be how do I have power? How do I have electricity out here? Uh, the nearest power line is about six miles away, so running it wouldn't be financially feasible. So maybe looking into solar and wind. That's the biggest challenges to actually turning this into a homestead and whether or not financially speaking, purchasing this land would be the smart thing to do because some of the other pieces that we're going to be looking at in this video, um, same acreage, less cost. So this is the drive out from that first property on our way to the next two. Got about an hour or so drive to get to the other ones. And uh, yeah, it's been pretty awesome to see all the different wildlife out here. And these rock formations are just gorgeous. Yep, that's disconcerting. 
right, so this is the second property that I wanted to look at, and uh, this seemed like it might be uh, somewhat promising. Uh, we've got some trees, and there is seasonal uh, water, as you can see through these draws right here. We'll have water flow uh, as the uh, snow melts in spring and early summer. So there is the possibility for there to be some water. However, it's unknown whether or not there is water in the ground, so drilling or um, sinking a well may not be an option. Again, uh, power, however, is a lot closer to this property than the previous property. We're only talking uh, maybe a mile, two miles max to get to a power line. So looking at tying into the infrastructure, at least for power, might be a little bit more economically feasible for this particular property. Um, the only other aspect that we could utilize is uh, solar and wind, like we would look at the first property. So the layout here is we are kind of at the southwestern uh, portion of the property. It follows this draw right here and then comes up on the high end down there where those few little trees are. And then it is all of this land behind me kind of, uh, you know, 40 acres back. And the northern part of the property is going to be up here, right where my truck is on the hillside there. So um, a little bit less um, aesthetically pleasing from my perspective. You know, there's a lot more um, terrain features in the first property. As you can see, we can see hundreds of miles at this direction. I mean, it seems, I'm pretty sure uh, that's at least 50 to 100 miles behind me here, and uh, which is kind of neat, uh, but at the same time, I'm hoping for a little bit more of a uh, mountainous terrain, uh, pretty much like we saw in that first property. So we're going to pretty much pack up from here. This is really all that we can see. I'm gonna go down to the third property, and that one's probably gonna be a real quick uh, look as well. Right now, this stake right over here marks the northwest portion of the property. And uh, that's actually kind of a bit of an issue, something I didn't take into consideration until I got my feet on the ground. Now, as far as price ranges goes, this is going to be the cheapest of the three. The second property that we look at, looked at was going to be the second most expensive and the first property is going to be the most expensive. And now I can kind of see why as to the differences in price. So uh, as you can see, really not much going on with this property. It is kind of a downslope. Um, so trying to you know put some type of living structure here might be a little bit of a challenge. Still have the ability to utilize uh, solar and wind for power, we could tie into the um, electrical lines, uh, which is still only going to be maybe a mile, two miles uh, at most, but that's still going to be an added cost as well. One of the biggest issues with this property is if we turn uh, the camera around and we look back this direction, you can see some fence posts. That's going to be the road that we came in on. And that is, uh, from, from that point to where we stand right now, is not my property. So the question is, how do we access the property? How do we get here? Uh, do I have an easement to travel down these very poorly maintained roads to get out here? And that's some of the major issues that I would be uh, facing on this particular property. And probably one of the reasons why I would not choose this property. Uh, at all because of those issues. I can see that there has been a number of people out in this direction. I can see some tire tracks in this property. Um, you know, if we take a look around, we have some pretty scenic views uh, out across the Wyoming Plains, which is really, you know, really kind of nice, but this is pretty remote. This, I would say, 
this would be the most remote of the three properties. So, um, unfortunately, I don't think this one's going to be the right one. Uh, are either of the other two going to be the right ones? I, I don't know either. Um, still got a lot of uh, decisions to make, but there you have it. That is the three properties that I'm most interested in. We've already eliminated, eliminated one property. The other two um, are definitely contenders. Both have pros and cons, and we'll go from there. If you guys liked what I'm doing with this channel, please go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. I'm hoping to kind of branch out a little bit, start getting into kind of uh, prepping and um, homesteading and all those types of things to be a little bit more well-rounded and not only taking care of myself, but my family and those around me. So if you guys would like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, comment down below. Have you guys been looking into property? Because this is now starting to get me really excited. And uh, I'm just trying to enjoy the rest of the time I'm here in uh, beautiful Wyoming. So we will catch you next time. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. We'll catch you guys later. Bye, y'all.